For every business to be a success, it requires two strong personality types. You know, this relationship is literally the yin and the yang, and their business chemistry is what makes or breaks a business. I'm talking about the visionary and the integrator. Think about Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Jobs was the visionary, Wozniak was the integrator. Think about uh, Walt Disney and uh, Roy Disney. Walt was the visionary, Roy was the integrator. Uh, think about McDonald's. Think about, uh, you know, Ray Kroc and Fred Turner. Uh, Ray was the visionary, Fred was the integrator. And without this power duo in play and their, you know, their goals being aligned, it's very hard to convert any business into a success. A visionary is a big picture person. He or she is the idea generator and they have fabulous ideas. And they don't take small steps or small strides. They take giant leaps. Whereas an integrator is somebody who makes the visionary's vision come to reality. And they do this by literally working in the day-to-day -day of the company, trying to kind of, you know, connect each of these different pieces to actually make the vision a reality. And they are the steady force of the company and they are usually the operating system of the company. And uh, that's essentially how a visionary and an integrator uh, you know, personalities are so, you know, extremely opposite, but they need each other to make the business a success. And uh, to give you an example to kind of clarify this one step further is, uh, you know, think of uh, a visionary who wants to create a mobile app to help people find jobs. An integrator would actually take that vision and, you know, start figuring out the day-to-day -day details. What is the programming language? Uh, does it require funding? and literally make the vision happen and kind of, uh, you know, make it a reality. And, uh, you know, all of this is coming from a very great book called Rocket Fuel. And you should definitely read it when you have the time because it goes into detail as to who a visionary is, who an integrator is. You also have an assessment where you can kind of see if you're a visionary or you're an, or you're an integrator. Very rarely are people, you know, uh, you have both the personalities of a visionary and an integrator. And now I'm going to show you from the book itself, simple charts as to how to identify who a visionary is and how to identify who an integrator is. And how does the organization structure change once you have a visionary and an integrator together? Okay, this is where I must stop you and ask you if you enjoyed watching my videos so far. And if you did, have you hit the subscribe button and the bell notific bell icon so you can get notified every time I have a new video? And if you haven't, you have five seconds. Okay, five is too much. Two seconds before I move on to the next part. So don't forget to do that because I'm going to be putting out more content around systemizing, streamlining and automating your business. Let's dive deep into what these personality types look like. So here's the chart straight from the book, The Rocket Fuel. It's not the, just rocket fuel. And common roles, common traits, common challenges. Common roles is they have the entrepreneurial spark plug, inspirer, passion provider, developer of new, big ideas, breakthroughs, big problem solver. Common traits, usually the founding entrepreneur, the CEO, and have lots of ideas or idea creation or idea growth. Strategic thinkers always see the big picture have the pulse in the industry and the target market. Their common challenges are sad, but this is true. It's inconsistency, organizational whiplash, dysfunctional team, lack of openness and honesty, lack of clear direction and under communication, reluctance to let go. You see how they immediately face a big challenge when it comes to day-to-day -to -day operations. Let's move to the next page. There is a little bit of con continuation. Then they are engager and maintainer of big external relationships, closer of big deals, learner and researcher and discoverer. They are the company vision creator and champion. The traits are research and develop new products and services, manage big external relationships, example, customer, vendor, industry, get involved with customers and employees when visionaries needed, inspire people. 
are creative problem solvers, big problems, create the company vision and protect it, sell and close big deals, connect the dots, on occasion, do the work, provide the service, make the product. Now, this is the negative side of it, right? Underdeveloped leaders and managers, genius with a thousand helpers, ego and feelings of value dependent on being needed by others, you know, eyes appetite bigger than stomach, resistance to following standardized or uh, standardized processes, quickly and easily bored. This is a very common trait of visionaries. No patience for details at the big picture people. Amplification of complexity and chaos. ADD, typical, not always. That's attention deficit disorder, I think. All foot on gas pedal with no brake. Drive is too hard for most people. Okay, so this is the negative side of it. And uh, this is the integrator. The common roles is communication, resolution, focus, accountability, team unity. Their common traits are personally accountable, adapt at self-management, decisive, good at planning and organizing, strong leader and manager, common challenges, the job can be thankless, accusations of pessimism because they constantly have to deal with the visionary and tell them, hey, slow down. You know, this is going to take so much more time, which could kind of make the visionary impatient. Being considered negative by others is the whole poker, loneliness, constant friction and tension. Engager and maintainer of big external really. Okay, this I think I, I'm sorry. I think this got repeated. So this is the, wow, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, here you go. So well-managed projects, follow through. Tie breakers that keep things moving, no obstacles or barriers, prioritization, execution, steady force or cadence or consistency, glue holding everything together, consistent beating of the drum, row, row. These are the people who are like, do it, do it, get on, get on. PNL results achieved, the business plan executed, leadership team harmoniously integrated, effective conflict manager, catalyst for team cohesion, goal achiever, Conceptual thinker, employee developer or coach, resilient, adaptable, able to understand and ev evaluate others, forward thinking, problem solver, persuasive, continuous learner, frustration balancing so many resources, being seen as the bad guy, bearer of bad news, because the visionary is obviously not the face of the company, right? It's the integrator. Having to do the dirty work, firing people, lack of recognition, having to say no a lot, being accused of moving too slowly. Setting the bar too high on self and unrealistic expectations on self because, you know, they're constantly bombarded. You see how these uh, two personality types are uh, pretty, pretty diametrically opposite. And the last bit is leadership management, accountability for the leadership team, the company operating system being followed by all, all the arrows pointed in the same direction. Everyone's working towards the vision and not in different directions. Visionary ideas being harnessed, day-to-day -day tasks run smoothly. Now let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison. So visionaries solve big complex problems, integrators identify and articulate the problems. Visionaries generate 20 new ideas per week. Integrators make the best ideas a reality. Our great leaders, great managers, our optimistic, our realistic, our outside guys, our inside guys, create the vision execute the vision you know now after we kind of dived so deep into it dove so deep into it i hope you really understand the you know the predominant difference between a visionary and an integrator and this is how the hierarchy of the business would change once you have a visionary and an integrator so visionary comes on the top you can see here then there's the integrator and then there is each department right below the integrator so now, literally, the big vision, the big ideas go through the integrator and the integrator is responsible for all of this. And you could pause the screen and go through this slowly and really, really kind of, you know, I would definitely recommend you to read Rocket Fuel to get a good understanding. This is by Gino Wickman and Mark C. Winters to understand uh, more about how to, find a, how to find a good visionary slash how to find a good integrator and dive deeper into it. If you're a visionary and a business owner and has already established product market fit 
and are looking for a dream integrator, I would recommend you take a look at my website. And in my website, I have this video where I talk about the 14 bottlenecks that could be slowing your online business are kind of causing friction for your growth. I would love for you to take a look at that and connect with me to see how I could help you and we could get talking. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.